Afternoon everybody, it's uh, David France here, just doing a quick video today just on um, a motivated seller lead that I've got to call up so I thought it'd be good for you guys to listen to some of the key words that I use in, conver in conversations and negotiations with motivated sellers. Now we've got quite a good lead here because the guy seems like he's motivated already, the information that's been passed to me sounds ideal for a lease option and uh, the referral that passed it to me knows I deal in creative property strategy so he simply just passed it over to me so let's give this guy a call and see if we can negotiate a deal I think these properties are over on the Northeast as well. So let's see what we can do. <clears throat> Hi, is that Gary? Yes, we can. Hi, Gary, it's uh, David Franz. Hello there, how are you doing, right? Hi, uh, yes, I just received your voicemail, so sorry for the delay. No, that's all right, we keep missing each other, so. <laughs> that's right, that's right, yeah. So uh, now a good time to have a chat, is it? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. You sent me sent me a text um, early in the week, didn't you? Saying that you you're a friend of um, Sean's, right? Eh? Correct. That's right. Yeah, f friend of Sean's, and he said you've got some properties we might be able to help you with. Yeah. What What, what do you do then? You, you're based. I'm based a prop up north. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, in the north northwest, and I just um, uh, help people with the you know with the properties really, and and just look at right. creative ways to help people. Uh, with okay. the properties, really, yeah. Okay, yeah, so we've, we've, we've got five up in the northeast of England. Okay. I don't know if that's an area you, you look at. It it can be. It all comes down to the numbers a lot of the time. So, um, yeah. so yeah, in case of just having a look and seeing what you've got, really. So, whereabouts in the northeast of the Gary? In uh, a place called Bishop Auckland. Yeah, okay. Uh, which is just, just down from Durham, so... They're, they're all in. They're all quite close to the town centre of Bishop Auckland, so they're all quite reasonable properties. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, they're all rented out. They've always have been. Um, you, you don't get many voids over that area. Um, okay. And and I say they're all rented out. Um, I think they're all around five hundred pound a month. Right. Okay. So what uh, what's your what are you looking to achieve? Um, what's the ideal outcome for you? Uh, well, the, the problem with those five is that we're, we're based down in Hertfordshire, you see. Ah, um, oh, right, okay. To buy properties down here, either do them up and sell them on or hold them for the portfolio. But those five are out on a limb, really, for us. Um, mm. So, yeah, they, 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 yeah we've, had, we've had them, I think, for probably eight to ten years, I suppose. Um, and they produce an income, not, not a brilliant income, but uh, it's enough. But uh, I say it's hard for us to keep on managing them while they're so far away. Yeah, so you self-manage, do you? We do, yeah. We, we've got our own maintenance guys up there that will cover it. Um, but as you know, you know, tenant transfers and things like that, it's, it's always hassle when they're so far away. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we would look to sell them. Um, is there, can I just ask you, is there any equity in the properties? Um, there will be, yes, yeah. Okay. Uh, I have, to be honest, I haven't looked at them for a long time, so there will be ec certainly will be equity ec in them. Uh, right. You, is it? I mean, if you give me your email address, do you want me to send you details of them, and you can sort of see what what you reckon you can offer on them? Certainly. Yeah, that's uh, that's a good idea. Um, yeah. Have you got a pen handy? I have. Yes. Can you uh, email me at sales at sales at fastcompletion dot com. Uh, sorry, fastcompletion.com. Fast. Yeah. Completion.com, okay. It's David France. That's it? right, yeah. Yeah, what I could do, because there's a, obviously a, a mini portfolio there, I have actually got a template that I do send out to to sellers uh, with with multiple properties, and it just basically you can just fill out all the information that you know that's on there that we need to be able to make oh. you you know the best offer possible. Yeah. Okay. Do you, do you want to email that down to me? I will, yeah, please. What's your email, please? Uh, info yeah. at hendersonacquisitions.com 
acquisitions.com. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, good. So you're are you involved with property yourself? We we are, yeah. We we, we have been for probably about twenty five years. Um, okay, oh good. We originally started buying up in the northeast of England but um sold a lot luckily just before the credit crunch. Um but we sort of been sticking around to the the Hertfordshire area, which is obviously where we're based, so Okay. Deal. So, we just buy, tend to buy and do them up and sell them on. That's, that's the biggest part of the business. So. Yeah, sure. So you're based in Hertfordshire. What kind of deals are you looking for? Because we do come across, you know, quite a lot of properties as well. Um, what are you we, looking? Yeah. The, the, the honest answer to that is anything that makes money. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I, you know, these, these days I prefer to buy, do up and sell on rather than hold. Um, okay, flips. Yeah. I don't, I don't really like being a landlord. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's challenging, isn't it? Yeah. It is, it is. It does get worse and worse each, each year. So, yeah. But, uh, where, where we, you know, doing them up and selling them on, you've still got a six month rule, but, you know, it's, yeah. there's, there's plenty of deals there to do. So. That's right, yeah, yeah. So you're what, looking. What, what are you, Sorry, go on. What, what are you, uh, you, do you rent properties out yourself as well? Do you? I'm a landlord as well, yeah, I'm an investor. Yeah. Um, I look to help people with the properties and, you know, we've got various ways. I mean, a lot of the properties and interesting enough, a lot of the properties we get on the northeast are actually in negative equity. So you've, you've obviously bought very well if uh, obviously you've got equity in those. Um, yeah. But we can help people with obviously negative equity because we've got the creative solutions for those. But you're in property yourself, so you must know lease options. Yes, sir. yeah, I do, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, well, that's one of the strategies. That's my main core business. Uh, but we usually we offer, you know, price or terms. So, you know, we can either os offer a discounted price on them for a quick sale or, or we can offer, um, you know, lease options on them where you get your full value for the properties. How, how do you find the, the mortgage companies like that now? Do they, do they still allow that sort of thing? Well, that's an interesting uh, point, that. And actually, I was just in negotiations this morning with another lead uh, that had come in um, and he's got some properties down in, in Liverpool uh, he's based up in Scotland. S similar kind of situation. He's got properties and doesn't, you know, want the hassle because of the distance element. Um, and he just said to me, um, you know, the same question: uh, How do the mortgage companies finding, um, you know, these agreements? And 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 uh, do I need to phone up the lender because we've actually agreed the deals with him? Um, I just said to him, I said, well, you don't really need to inform the lenders because, in essence, you've got uh, like a manage. It's a management agreement. So it's you know, in in essence, it's an AST. Um, with the option to buy in the future, so you don't really need to inform the lenders because the chances are most lenders you can ask them, but you know most of them will just turn around and say, well, if they, they don't know what they are, because you know the people at the, the the phone level, a lot of those aren't even trained on on a lot of things anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, we never really we don't obviously tell people to go out and start asking the lenders because most of the time they say no. Um, yeah. But uh, I mean, it's just like if you're renting your property out, you don't need to phone up the the uh, the bank and or the lender and just ask them if you can rent your property out because obviously it's a buy to let anyway. So um, so yeah, we we usually find that um, you know you don't need to to speak to them, um, because uh, yeah, that that's there's no real real reason to really because it's just a private agreement between us anyway really. Or obviously it's all done through solicitors anyway. So yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah so I have seen them. I, I often wondered how how they got that round the lenders. Um, but yeah, the less you tell the lender, the better, really. So. Yeah, well, I mean, there's, we're all about just keeping it simple, really. There's no real reason to tell the to tell the um, the, the lenders, really, because it's not really. I mean, the only that for them, they've got no benefit to agreeing to it because you know they're not going to get anything extra out of it. Um, yeah. So it's just um, yeah, it's it's quite straightforward, really. But um, oh. but yeah, we'll have a look at your portfolio. I mean, what what would, you know? What's the ideal outcome for you? I mean, you're obviously a property man. You know, um, you probably know what you want for these already. So what you know, what will make you happy? Um, really, I, I think as, as you mean on on a figure wise. Um, well, figure. I mean, what you look at? Would do you want a straight sale on these, or are you just looking to take the hassle away? What's your kind of feeling on um, them? I say, I say we manage them. With, with maintenance guys, once we've got maintenance guys out, that's, that's really all you need. Um, but really, probably a straight sale is probably best for us, just to, to, to clear the books and uh, stick the properties down here, really. Straight sale? 
Right, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so and now, uh, would you be open to uh, an offer on them then, or? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, you know, I know how all this works, so, yeah. Okay, you know, yeah. I know, I know we're not going to get market price and all this sort of thing on it. But, um, yeah. You know, we've got to be realistic on this sort of stuff. But, so, yeah, certainly look at any offers. Um, yeah, okay. I think, I mean, your, your buyers, do they need access to the property, do they? Yeah, well... More often than not, they need to have a look at them, yeah, just to confirm the yeah. conditions. Now, just on that point, you've mentioned the tenanted. Um, now, one thing we can do, obviously, you know, we don't want to spook the tenants and, and or anything like that for you or cause any problems for yourself. So, obviously, until we've got someone serious, it, I mean, sometimes we take them, but if they're not suitable for us, one of our partners will take them that, that we work with, and they're certainly not time waste or anything like that. They'll make sure, um, you know, what the, uh, you know, they can complete on the deals. Um, yeah. So we'd take a, a reservation fee first, and then if they want to view them, we'd send them round. And sometimes the composers, like insurance assessors or something like that, just yeah. to yeah. Um, obviously not spook the the, the tenants. Yeah, because tenants don't tend to understand, although they know it's another investor buying it, they do get worried. Um, yeah, correct. But, um, uh, they, they, like it's, it's the same as the lenders, really. They, they don't need to know, do they? So no, no, it's they, not really. Um, yeah. Yeah, as, as long as they get the roof over the head and they're paying the rent, then yeah. that's, that's that's fine, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think all of these are pretty long-term. There's only one that's uh, she's been there about eight months. The rest are a lot longer than that. So, yeah, you know, they'll pay the rent. There's no rent arrears. So, um, maintenance is kept under control. So, they're, they're pretty good properties. So. so, there's no work required at the moment? No, no. Okay. No, anything that's been... Everything that's asked for is done. So, yeah. So I think one's just had a new boiler in it. So, apart from that, there's not really much goes wrong with them. So, okay, perfect. That's good. So, so how how many properties did you say there was in total? There's five up there. Five. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, what I'll do, Gary, is I'll send across the spreadsheet. Okay. If you can complete that, send it back to us, and we'll just give you a, um, you know, an offer. And obviously we'll yeah. just take it from there. If that works for you, then great. If not, then you know I completely understand. I mean, we won't um, take the mickey or anything with the offer. It's just um, you know based on um, usually the the finance products that we can buy them with and etc. You know how yeah. it works anyway, don't you? Cause, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. all right. No, that's fine. Yeah, I say we're open to offers. So uh, yeah, see what you can do if if you're interested. Uh, by the way, I, I'm guessing the yields are going to be pretty good because they're probably based on the values versus the rent. You get in, is that right? Or yeah, what, what's what's the yield uh, investors up there are looking for these days? <laughs> as much as possible. Yeah. Um, well, uh, it depends really on the deal. To be fair, uh, we'd have to have a look at the at the properties. I mean, your HMOs and stuff like that. Obviously, everyone's looking for ten percent plus, uh, but yeah. usually, you know, six or seven percent, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking. I'm sure. I'm sure these are achieving that. I mean, well, it would be for us because obviously we bought a lot. Many years ago, so it looks like you bought quite well, especially if you've got equity in them. So, and how yeah. long how long have you had them? Well, I think we've had them it's either eight or nine years, might even be ten. But we we bought them with Paragon. I don't know if you know Paragon Mortgages. Yes, I know the company. Yeah. Um, years ago, they had some fantastic deals where you you did it on refurbishment loans. So we've had our money out of these properties already. You see, because what you're doing, you were buying the properties. They would come out and value them. Yeah, and then they would give you another value on 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 the price once you've done the refurbs on all of these, and then we were taking the mortgages out on those. Right, it's a brilliant product they had. So virtually, there's no money down on on half of these. Yeah, okay. I think, in one, of them, I think one of them we actually walked away with money. So you can't <laughs> do that these days. They, <laughs> they were the good old days, Gary, weren't they? Good old they days, were, when yeah, the same day yeah. refinance and things like that. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean. Yeah, people built up some big portfolios. I mean, we've taken quite a few on in in places like Liverpool, a lot in the northwest, Manchester, place like that, all in negative yeah. equity. And they're not bothered a lot of the investors because they bought them all, you know, no money down anyway. They just, you yeah. know, they got various reasons for obviously wanting rid of them. But, um, but yeah, if we can help you get what you want, then um, obviously we can we can look to do do something and move them forward. Uh, okay. All right. Fantastic. Well, I'll get this email to over to you this afternoon. Uh, have you got any questions or anything before I go? Or? No, that's fine. No, I, I, I'll get the form. I'll, I'll fill it in this afternoon for you and uh, email it back. 
Perfect, Gary. That's great. Okay, well, nice talking to you anyway. And I'll, uh, I'll tell Sean that we, uh, we've had a conversation. Just keep him updated as well. All right. All right, no problem. All right. Great okay. stuff. Cheers, Gary. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. All the best. Cheers. Bye-bye. What a good conversation that was. <laughs> so, the as you can see, that, that was a warm lead. Obviously, I've been past, past the lead by somebody else, so it was clearly motivated straight away. So, I was already a few streets ahead there so it was just a case of just having a, a friendly conversation like any lead don't put too much thought into it just keep speaking to the leads um that was passed by somebody else in the industry who's a friend of mine you've got to keep them all in the loop of what's happening um you've got to be transparent and make sure whoever you get referred to by is it by if you do if we do a deal with this guy gary now we need to make sure we tell our referrer and obviously he's going to get a fee out of it as well got to keep everybody happy it's important to maintain these relationships in this business so you know you keep getting um you know deals more deals off other people so that's um so yeah and just obviously probe probed him on a few few things just asking a few, a few questions on the property conditions what would he like to see happen you know those types of questions un unleash so many different um you know uh, answers and he just come back with with the answers what he was looking to achieve uh, just get straight down to the to business that call lasted what ten minutes. Um, and he's got five properties. You do the numbers on that. How much we charge deal packaging? It's you know a very good return on investment if it turns into a deal. Obviously, we've got to go back. There's a bit of follow up. We've got to send some emails, do some back and forth. But if something comes off that, and again, there was a suggestion of the lease options. We could quite openly talk about lease options with him because. He's an investor. He's been in the business for 25 years. He knows what lease options are. So you're okay to speak about lease options openly with a lot of these types of landlords. Obviously, your Mrs. Jones is down the street. Do not mention lease options to them because their eyes will glaze over and they'll panic. Don't know what that is. Not going to not gonna accept it. So that's when you need to use the babysitting of the mortgage terminology um, and uh, or, or monthly payments until we're ready to buy it. Delayed sale. Those types of terminology you need to use. So that's just, yeah, just one lead that come in. Thought I'd just do a quick video on that just to offer a bit of value. Um, and like I say, obviously I was a few streets ahead because he was already a warm lead. Um, but again, the questions are the same. We want to find out what he wants and how we can find a solution to that problem. And again, he knows we're in the business to make money. You know, I was quite clear and open about it. Um, we're gonna, we're not going to be offering him market value, so he knows that. Uh, and he wouldn't entertain lease options, so we, we're going to go in with a BMV offer. Um, and we'll see how he likes that. And sometimes you can turn these BMV offers actually into exchange of delayed completions or even lease options again um, by just finding out and just just unearthing um, more answers by asking more questions later on. But for now, we'll get the, the spreadsheet over to him, which, which uh, has all the information that we need to make an offer. We'll go back, make the suitable offer, and it may well be a BMV offer and a lease option offer. Uh, depending on the figures because he says there's equity but until we do our research we might uncover that there's some discrepancies or not enough of equity for us to be able to make a below market value offer and if that's the case then we would simply just go in with um, a lease option offer which you know might not work for him again numbers game speaking to more and more sellers all the time and those types of sellers I like speaking to economies of scale lots of properties you know five properties um, you know, like I say, the fees we generate off off each property, uh, that's that's multiplied on them. So it's a good good level of fees, and uh, we'll look to follow this guy up. So I'm going to go ahead and send him an email now with the with what we need.